All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here. And this is the continuation of our Elden Ring Chronicle, where we're playing as Fia's Blood Assassin. We're going to go through the Academy of Raya Lucara in this episode. I don't... I wouldn't expect that we'll make it all the way through, but we're going to begin it. And so that said, I need to go ahead and check the guide that I'm using to uh, remember this... Uh, this playthrough really is primarily about me trying to get my inventory filled out as much as possible so that I can make whatever kinds of uh, subclass characters I want and I have the equipment for them uh, when it comes to New Game Plus. So all of that said, I will put you on pause and uh, I'll be right back whenever I know what to do. Okay, uh, well the entrance uh, I was reminded is quite challenging or can be so the first thing that we want to do is uh i think it's go down this bridge because there's a golden seed out there i don't really know how trees could grow on a bridge i, I could see maybe grass because you can get enough dirt for grass to take hold. It would get burnt up by the sun pretty easily, I think. I don't know about a tree, but, uh, you know, we're in a magical land, so who knows? Suspend the rules of reality, I guess. It's a fantasy game. I am offline, so what's this about? Be summoned to assist Yura, Hunter of Bloody Fingers? No, not at this moment. We will do that later. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is check to see how close we are to a level. Uh, we're not very close. I'm about 4,500 runes. And I need 18.7. Because we're probably going to lose the runes lose the runes here. This can be a tough fight. All right get a lot of atmosphere with the Academy so it's fun to just kind of check things out and immerse into the world Got the raven cages. All right, uh, these guys. Hopefully, I can get by them. Okay. That's test number one. Right here, there's a gray site right around the corner that we want to sprint to.
Oh, no, there they are. Okay, so that's good. All right, we got to go out here and uh, beat all these guys. Okay. Are there any others? It sure seems like there should be more. Let's go around the back side. Class 3 smithing, somber smithing stuff. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's put on the uh, honeydew, blessed dew. Is that what it is? Blessed dew, I think. Yeah. Uh, run back over here where I feel like I'm at a safe spot. <laughs> I watched the next section, but uh, it's pretty lengthy. So what we're going to do is some a technique that I use pretty often, and that's just frequent pauses. We're just going to... This next section, I'm going to break it up into multiple sections because there's a lot of different little loots to get, and I want to make sure I don't miss any of it. Including the uh, spell sword armor, um, the carrion knight, it's called carrion knight armor. So that'd be a real nice set for a spell sword. Oh! All right. All the the whole group uh, got up. Oh, oh. One got me. No, no, no. I want I want the pull the uh, twin blade. There we go. Now I feel like I'm ready to rumble with a bunch of dudes. I am using my triggers and uh, bumpers to break out of those holes. Ow. 
I need to level this thing up. It doesn't doesn't hit as hard as the daggers. Might have been a mistake to use that. That took some damage. Did I just hear another one raise up? No. Okay, so there's a path that leads downwards. Uh, it's right here. We want to take this path. But this is where I have to go see uh, the next section. So. Oh! Anything else around here that I need to be worried about? Okay. Marionette Soldier Ashes is what we're looking for next. I'm out of mana because of mashing those buttons to get out of uh, the zombie embrace. Maybe it's just the bumper buttons, but I thought I heard Cowboy say bumper buttons and triggers. I had it on two by speed, so I may have misheard. There's nothing out here for me. It's up this path. Right here, I guess. Yeah. Oh! I didn't want to fall. That's real bad. Yeah. Darn it. And we're gonna jump across this again. And hopefully win this battle. Maybe... Twin blade would work here a little bit better. They are in close proximity to each other. Okay. So he fell down. Okay, that went better than I thought it would. Uh, the next point is there's a gravestone that we're going to jump off of, off to our left. So you can hear the, uh, there's an ash of war over there and you can hear it. Okay, this is the stone. Jump off right there, we can loot this. I'm going to try throwing a Kukri at this thing. That wasn't enough. Okay. Well, that, again, went a lot better than I expected. I was able to get the Ash of War. I missed what it was. And I was able to kill the dog and then take this one down too. So I was real happy about that. Now we move up into this area. There should be some more dogs. Here's one right here. Uh oh. Three of them? Two of them. Okay, so far so good. There is some loot around here, and then uh, he's been looking as he's as he's been going through the guy. He's been looking for a smithing room four. He couldn't remember where it was, and so he he did finally. And we're gonna have to double back a little. Okay, so we're gonna grab this lily. Loot this guy. Okay. 
Okay. Come around this way. And uh, where was it? Might have to check the video again. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lower level of rock I need to jump off onto, but I don't remember where at. Was it here? Oh, here it is. Nothing's coming up behind me. All right, so we got the carrion knight stuff. It's a really nice looking set. That I'm not going to bother with right now. It's not the purpose of this video. But it's pretty popular, so... I'm sure. If I were to model it for you, you would recognize it because you probably, it's a high likelihood you've seen it in some videos by this point. Okay, he comes up here. And uh, this is where he runs back across the bridge because that rune four he was looking for, that smithing rune four. Smithing stone, excuse me, is over this way. Ah, uh, darn it. Gotta fight these guys all over again. Whoa! Yeah, I'm out of magic, okay. I think that's all of them. Okay, so it was uh, somewhere around here. There's a path off. Must be around this structure. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, well, he's going to take us to a site of grace next. And I am three quarters of the way up on health. I have to fight a guy up here, though, so um, I'm going to I'm going to risk it. And hope that I can take him down. As is. Now health is ticking up pretty steadily, but I think it's time this fight to go ahead and put the winged insignia back on and it's right up these steps it's one of those gravity guys he uses gravity magic there he is
Oh, that didn't kill him? Okay, well, we'll go ahead and pop another potion. That puts me at five. Got gravity well off of him. That was a, that's a spell, so... Definitely worth killing him for, I guess. To get that into inventory. We get a class three somber smithing stone, and now we gotta ride this, uh... this wheel up and it can be a little bit tricky up at the top for where we want to get off at I'm gonna wait for the next one Okay, I was able to do it. I was nervous about that. Golden Rune 4. And then here we are. We're at 12,185. That's 6,000... About 7,000 shy of what I need for a level up, so we're still a bit far away. All right, guys. Uh, the Getting the abductor virgin at the bottom of where this well is at to take us to the Volcano Manor is what's next. And that's going to cost us all our rooms. So I don't want to do that yet. Um, I also don't want to proceed up there because that's... If I remember where this is at, right, this is a bit of a death trap. So what I want to do is I want to go to what I call the Field of Giants, and I want to get the 7,000 runes I'm going to need to level up, and then zip back to this waypoint right here. What is this called? Schoolhouse Classroom. All right, so I'm going to put you guys on pause. I'm going to go to, well, I mean, I have a much better rune farm available, actually. should probably just do that. Yeah, Lena's Rise is where I'm going to go. All right, I'm going to pause you, though, while I do this. So stand by, and I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back at the schoolhouse. When we're finished with the academy, I am going to respec. And so um, what I would normally be doing is I'd be starting to pump up mind but I think what helps us to get through this academy the most right now is just to go with another point of vigor. That, to me, appears to be the most bang for your buck at this point in time. So, we'll hit confirm. That leaves me with 1,200 runes. That's what we're going to... That's basically the toll that we're going to have to pay to get abducted to the um, Volcano Manor. Did I do this right, or am I about to die? Feels like I'm about to die. <laughs> I think I was supposed to get onto the other side. Okay. Oh no! We're getting some pauses. I don't know what's going on. This is weird. I don't normally have this issue. Haha. <laughs> that guy got scared. Yeah, that was some heavy frame stuttering. Oh, 
the way down. Should dump us off. No! <laughs> Not yet. Oh, he got me. There's a there's a a loot that I want to get there. Oh, he threw me out. Oh, well, okay. Uh, it wasn't that. Must be this. Yeah, that's it. Okay. There we go. Should resurrect in the Volcano Manor. Yes, okay, so it worked right. I did it correctly. Yep, here we are. What does the long tail cat thing do? I think that reduces fall damage. Equipment. Grants immunity to fall damage, but does not prevent death from a high fall. Okay, so if you would take damage and live through it, then this negates the damage. All right, right here is where I need to see what he does next. So stand by. Okay, we are in the next video for him. And uh, I picked up a trick that I guess I didn't get the last time whenever I was following his guide for the Tree Sentinel. But he... Jumps across here. I think this is probably a good place to go ahead and have. Nope, not Erd Tree Favor. Blessed Dew Talisman loaded up. Okay. Now, how did he equip it? I don't quite know how he equipped it. How he equipped it. How he equipped it. Maybe Right, let's replace these there's these rainbow stones Okay And if you're unsure whether or not you can make a jump or not without falling you can toss one of these off And you heard it shatter. That means that that jump's gonna kill you. So if we come over here. And, uh, shoot, did he do it off of the actual lava? Did he hop over here? I think he must have hopped back. Well, if he did hop back, where did he jump to? Oh, I think it was over by the lava. Let me double check this. Stand by. Um, okay, well, he does throw it off from the lava. And you don't hear it shatter. Now, I'm not going to do it because I don't really want to stand in the fire. Um... But you do not hear it shatter, and so that's how he knows it's safe to drop. We're just going to go ahead and jump on out here. Drop. Oh, I'm not going to make that. Yeah. Well, doggone it. We got to make it to over there. Huh. I ain't got the health for it. So is there an alternate route down for me? No, 
I can't get over there. How am I going to accomplish this, cowboy? I don't want to go that way. I think there's uh that takes me to a magma worm. The cattail won't help me because the fall kills me. Oh, that was really close. Gotta get to this point right here. From that lava flow. I don't know, man. Let me try and take uh, some cotton. We can at least give that a shot. Stone. I only have three, though. So. Maybe we'll just experiment here with the cattail. I mean, I think the description tells me it won't work. Well, it did work. Okay. The cattail did work. Grants immunity to fall damage, but does not prevent death from a high fall. So I guess it's not, it wasn't a high enough fall to kill us. It was a high enough fall to damage us. That's a little bit different than what he said. Uh, let me put this back on. Oh, this dude's coming our way. So we're gonna go get class six. I think it's a somber smithing stone. There's also quicker way to get across these and it's turn around and back step we'll take this up Just run past this guy Okay, I made it. Made it again. Right here, we just dropped down. And this is what we were after. Somber Smithing Stone Class 6. Alright, let me see if I can see this path correctly. So we're going to make a... We're going to try for that. You can see all the little lava worms around it. Then hop back over to this side and go up those steps. And uh, there's a little elevator that'll take us up. So, let's see, there's another lava guy right there. That's right about where I want to be. All right, well, here we go. Pop the potion, run up the stairs, 
and it should be this one right here. Beat the snake man up here. Big scary guy standing over there. We're gonna come over here and grab this. Uh, I think it's a somber smithing class five. Yeah. All right, this next part is uh, a little bit of a sneaky trick that we're going to use to try and get a somber smithing stone class seven. Uh, also, he is not going to grab any gray sites here because if we do, it triggers the Radon Festival, I think it's called. And if you can keep yourself from triggering the Radon Festival, there's nice loot that you can grab earlier in the game than you would have been able to. So I didn't follow that with my Tree Sentinel. I accidentally messed that up. I am going to follow it with this guy. So... Let's go see if we can get this uh, trick done. We gotta run past this big scary dude. Oh. Not into there. But instead this way. Where we can activate this bridge. Those metal cages should not exist due to lava. I'm assuming the bridge is made of stone. Although right now it looks like metal cooling. Which also should not be a thing. Due to being submerged in lava for who knows how long. But. Let's just let it be. <laughs> Alright. I am not being pursued. So what we have to do here, we're, we're aiming for that piece of loot right there. We might get killed by that dude, that uh, Iron Maiden thing. Uh, uh, Virgin Abductor. I agree with Cowboy, sounds kind of weird. You know, but... Uh, um, might get killed by it, but we should get the loot. So the way that you do this is you unequip until you have a light load. Okay, I have a light load now. So, just as a reminder, here's our guy. This is what he looks like. We haven't seen his face in quite a while. Not clearly. And, uh, as we able to get a look at that eye? Yeah, I see. That eye's nasty looking. Alright. Now this... Uh, I should explain the rest of it. There's a trick. With a run... With, with a sprint jump that you can do that will help you jump farther. You have to do it from on top of this now, I don't really know oh yeah got it okay then you come up here and you do your sprint jump until you can get onto that corner just to the left of our dude's head that's what you're aiming for now I'm gonna pause you because this might take me a good long while I've never been good at this sprint jump um but once you get on that ledge, you can basically creepy crawl your way over on the outside here uh, to get that loot. So I'm going to pause you until I'm able to accomplish this, and uh, then I'll bring you back. So stand by. 
Alright guys, I've tried for probably about 20-25 minutes and I'm not able to get it. So, um, best of luck to you. Once again, I'll show you the methodology. Come over here, be careful not to walk off the, the edge. Jump up on this post. From here, you're going to press circle for sprint and uh, whatever button well, actually, for me, it's B, Microsoft PlayStation. Uh, you press your sprint button, and then you press your jump button. And that'll get you up onto this. Jump up to here. Jump up to here. Kind of center yourself on this chain here. Aim for this corner. And you can see I'm, I'm kind of close to it, but I haven't been able to get it. So, um, if you land it, you're going to scoot over, mash tri uh, your, your loop button, grab that, fall off the edge here, and then you're just going to yeet yourself off the ledge. Re-equip items. Uh, what was this before? This was turtle shell. And this was... Winged attack. Right here was the... I don't think it was the sage hood. It was the exile hood. And, uh... I was using this. Okay. Did, does that have me at a medium load? Yes, it does. Yeah, that's what we looked like before. Okay, now from here... Uh, you know, I mentioned earlier that he wasn't going to grab any grace sites. I guess it's not any grace sites from this section right here, because we're about to go get a grace site. And to do that... Come across this way... And we do go over here, where there are bats. Oh, there he is. Darn it, I got the wrong one targeted. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's too bad. I'll probably edit this down to the successful run. <laughs> Out of front. Okay, that was that felt like it was a lot harder than it should have been. Another health potion. <laughs> All right, uh, see if I can get this right. Uh, let's see, I think he goes this way, and he runs past these guys. Oh, shoot. All right, no running past. I kind of just ran into an alcove here. 
So it was those other bats that I kind of aggroed to myself that he just runs past. I'm going to pop another health potion. Oh, these, these he runs past. And drops off the edge here. Uh, another one. I didn't make it. Incredibly, I didn't die. Uh, shoot, was it? Uh, I think he just follows this around. And the whole idea is down, 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 down. Okay, this is the grace site that he grabs. And then he's going to fast travel. Um, you can see we have loot here that we can grab and stuff, but I think he's about to fast travel out of here. I got to go check the video to, to see, so stand by. All right, guys. Well, I was wrong. He um, actually makes his way to a few loots down here and a boss fight. I remember this boss fight. It took me forever and a day to knock it out. I think we're going to give it one attempt on this video. One. And um, if I can't get it, then I'll open up the next video with some tries. But there's also a chance I may just put this off until later. I remember doing this on my Tree Sentinel, and it took forever and a day for me to get it right. So we're going to drop down here. And, uh... Let's see, the way we do this... So we get on this pillar... That didn't work. I don't, I don't think he made that jump either. Um... Gotta get over there so I can get over there. So I think the way I'm gonna do this. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Okay, grab that. didn't take me where I wanted to go. This is where I want to be. Okay. Go ahead and pop a, another health potion. I'm almost out. I'm at two health potions. Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's, uh... Thirty-seven seventy-six. Let's die right here. Then I can pick up runes right here. My my goal being to uh, resurrect right up there. Okay, my timer just went off. 
Okay, now I can just drop to here. Oh, not here. This one right here. Okay. Darn it. Okay, that's supposed to happen. So, we have all this stuff to loot. Do I still have Skeletal Militia? Yes, and that's who I want for this fight. Um, I don't know if they'll take poison. I suppose we should try, though. Die. Wow. Well, there's there's my one try. I don't see that dude's health ticking down, and I laid into him. Uh, maybe I'll try one more time with daggers, guys, but I, I don't think so. So we'll open up next episode. Assuming that I don't make it through this one. And we'll give this boss fight a shot. But there is a really good chance that uh, we're just going to press on. get out. Oh, jeez. Oh, Hit the bumper sticks to get out of that. I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure which one I had really laid into. Oh, it, it's even labeled Swinging Sickle. Okay. Um, well, the amount of damage I was able to get in in short bursts actually gives me a little bit of hope. So we'll give that some... We'll give that a few honest tries to open up next episode. Um, but I don't want to spend forever and a day on that fight so anyway again i'm aesop Graham. thank you for coming by the channel i hope you like what you saw i hope all is well in your neck of the woods and i'll see you in the next episode where the story continues